Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I installed the transom in the 1973 Glastron V156. First I'm going to talk about the previous video for just a second. If you remember, I patched some holes in the hole of the boat underneath where the transom is going to be resting. Um, I had to do that before getting to this method here. So, now let's talk about gluing in the transom first. Uh, before I could glue it in, I set the transom down in the hull of the boat, lifting it up off the hull using some paint stirring sticks. Um, I did this so that I knew there would be glue and some putty going in in that area, and you don't want it right on hull on transom. You want to have just a little bit of a gap. So, I did this and then clamp the transom down to make sure there was no um, gaps anywhere else and make sure I had a good uh, seat because I want it to be like it's gonna be when I actually glue it in. Uh, the reason I'm doing this now without the glue is so that I could drill my holes for the bolts where the motor mounts and the top drain. I'm doing this first because the two by four and all thread clamps that I have made, I need them to bolt through these holes so that the transom and the hole get a good bond and a good tight fit. So, drilling these out. If you are doing this and you do not have a corded drill, I suggest going to Harbor Freight or Northern Tool or somewhere and getting you a cheap corded electric drill. Um, I use a battery operated drill. It's a great drill, but for the amount of uh, work that is gonna be um, thrown on this dr um, the drill here for this, it's gonna wear your batteries out quick. Um, I have really good battery life, but again, I'm drilling through a, a inch and a half thick transom that has already been glassed once before this, and um, it, it was sucking the life out of it. So anyway, get your quarter drill. Uh, hindsight, I would have went and bought one, but I powered through and didn't want to spend any money. Whatever. I won't do that mistake again. So anyway, get your drill. Um, so you see me here while I've been talking, drilling all these holes. Um, several little sessions here to get this job done, again using battery operated drill. Alright, so now that that was done, I laid the transom down in the boat and I proceeded to apply the PL glue. Um, again, same method as when I built the transom, using the tile trial um, to sp spread it and get it how I wanted it. Then flipped it up, setting it back on the paint stirring sticks, and push it together with the hole. So then the next step was using these two by four clamps that I had built using all thread and two by fours um, to really get this transom and hole um, tightened together, letting that glue set up over the next several days. Um, it was really hot when I did this part right here with the glue in Arkansas. So the glue was actually trying to set up as I was getting it clamped down. Um, so I had to move extremely quick. And then after this, I walked away from the boat for, for quite a while. Um, took a little vacation, um, did some other life stuff that had happened with work and you name it. And uh, regrettably, I missed lots of opportunities um, working on this thing for a while. Um, so anyway, there's kind of where the hiatus come in to play was whenever I had let this glue uh, get set up. So anyway, for the next step with the uh, fiberglassing of tabbing the transom in, I knew the glue was well, well, well cured before getting to this point. Um, before I could do anything, I decided I needed to do the drain uh, first. If you remember, I also showed you in the past where I had bought a uh, brass uh, plug from West Marine. and. Um, so to do this installation, I needed to use three brass screws. And before I could uh, even use those screws to get the brass drain installed, I pilot drilled the holes uh, for the drain. Got it like I wanted it, uh, drilled the holes, and then pulled the drain off. Using 3M Marine Adhesive, I put a really, really good um, bit of glue into the drain. There's some recesses in there when you're holding the drain in your hand, um, there's a lot of recesses in there that I could put glue in. And then I pushed it up onto the hole, 
put my screws in place. And then as you can see on the other side, uh, the glue really formed a really good bond around the ring. Uh, it went everywhere it should. It kind of um, gushed out around the drain just right. So filling all the holes that there might be um, tight. And um, same for the outside of the boat. It gushed out a little bit through the screw holes and everything. So I know there's lots of uh, glue in the right places. Then I smoothed out and put a bead around the plug itself on the outside. Um, again, just to make sure it's all watertight. So after that was put in place, I put a piece of PVC pipe from the drain plug that was going to stick out the transom. And then that void that it's sticking through was going to be filled with putty. So in order for this piece of pipe to sit level, one end had to be angled um, to match the, how the drain set in, sorry, plug. So I angled it and pushed it right up in place, making it nice and level for water to travel just as it needs to. I would put more 3M glue on the drain pipe to where that glue could sit and cure all around uh, the PVC pipe. So while that was curing, I mixed up my batch of fiberglass putty, filled the void, let that kick off, and then took the thread out, and then I ground down the pipe um, flush with the putty. Now, I don't have any footage of this to show you because my um, files were lost from the camera. Um, you know, shooting digital nowadays, stuff like that can happen. Anyway, so I can't show you that process of me grinding it down, but what I can show you is me making my next uh, round of putty and doing my fillets and finishing off that little void right there and then doing my fillets along the side of the transom area. So next, it's time to do the tabbing finally. Using 1708, I tabbed the bottom across the drain, covering it up, and then up the sides of the transom. Uh, I did this twice. So I did one layer of 1708, and then I did the sides, then I came to the bottom again, and then I up, up and down the sides for a second layer. So you've got two layers of 1708, and then I skinned the whole transom face with a layer of 1708, and then I did it one more time skinning it with CSM on the second round. Um, so with all that being said, transom is now skinned and tabbed into place. Um, that was a lot of little prep work and a lot of little things just to do this. But uh, I think um, it's turned out just like I wanted it to. Um, and now I can move on to cutting stringers and gluing stringers in place and so forth and other deck support things that I've been trying to figure out. Um, plan moving forward is I've got some, I've got some of my own little um, updates I'm going to do on uh, building the deck support as well as the bilge area of the boat. Um, I'm going to kind of modify from the original design a little bit um, because I also, if you remember, I bought pour-in foam to run underneath the deck of the floor um, of the boat. So I'm trying to get creative with how I'm going to use that as well as I've got those flotation boxes I've got to put back in place to support that transom um, as well. So anyway, that's all kind of uh, foreshadowing that's all going to take place at different points in time but uh, I'm getting back into the boat and uh, for all you new subscribers thanks for joining the channel and there's plenty of material coming your way um, and for anybody who has questions I've tried to answer every question that I've seen um, if I don't have an answer I'll just tell you I don't have an answer if, if you throw me a curveball but uh, for those of you uh, out there watching thanks for watching and uh, until next time uh, Take care.